One possible solution for those asylum seekers is currently under construction in Brunswick. The same developer who is outfitting the new asylum seeker shelter in Portland is also building apartments meant specifically for those people. Chris Costa spoke with that developer who says the need for this housing is so dire that the units he's building are already spoken for. Building up housing is Kevin Bunker's business. I, I think real estate can really be a tool for help, giving people a hand up. But this project in Brunswick is not about a big profit. The money's limited. You know, we don't have unlimited funds and it's not realistic to expect that we would have unlimited funds. So in a sense, it's gonna be 60 very lucky families that get these units. 60 units, specifically for asylum seekers, immigrants who come to the US. The government prevents them from working for at least six months. No income means they can't pay rent, forcing them to live in shelters. So they need, definitely need that temporary emergency housing because the shelters are supposed to be able to turn, you know, and welcome new people. And if the shelters aren't turning because no one can move out of a shelter, then that piece of social infrastructure doesn't work. So they need more housing more than this project can provide. Within the first hour, they received 250 applications. For 60 units? For 60 units. Fatuma Hussein runs the Immigrant Resource Center of Maine. She's connecting people with these apartments, more than simply a roof over their heads. It's life-saving. It signifies hope. It signifies the beginning of um, a new home. There's all, this, all these questions about where's our workforce going to come from. Well, our workforce is trying to come here. We just got to let them. Maine housing essentially pays the rent for two years. As long as the people living in those apartments are homeless asylum seekers, Kevin gets paid. I need these to be done. These are, I want them done by now. Kevin hopes to have the first set of 12 units opening in August, with the rest of these buildings coming online one by one by November. Until then, his business is unfinished. I'm too far in to, to not think about the finish line, which is what I want. Why? Why? Yeah. Because that's when I did my job. <laughs> Haven't done my job yet. In Brunswick, Chris Costa, New Center, Maine.